Hello everyone. This is what we're going to make today using graphic symbol and movie clip symbol. So let's take a look. See, this is kind of a self-animating uh, the kind of a tile, and then based on this, we can change the color angle, and we can multiple with different color. So it is pretty simple process. So if you follow me step by step, uh, I'm not going to skip any steps and then uh, you should be able to make it. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and then um, uh, set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so first let's create a new document. The document size is going to be 600 pixel by 600 pixel because I'm going to export as MP4 file and posting on my um, Instagram. And then a frame rate, 24 frame rate, and platform type, either one's fine. HTML5 canvas or action script 3.0. Really doesn't matter. Okay, now create it. So um, once you have that, let me double click my hand tool so I can make my document uh, fit to window. Then first thing is I need to draw one little dot, which I'm going to use as a basic module. Uh, so set your fill color to black and then a nostril color and choose your over tool. Hold down the shift key and drag it about this size and by you choosing your selection tool, select it. Open properties panel I'm going to make it as a 70 pixels by 70 pixels. So make sure your width and height constraint is linked, locked. Okay, still your 70 pixel by 70 pixel dot is selected. Go to modify menu and convert to symbol. As a graphic, graphic symbol. I'm going to name it as a dot. Okay. Then, now double click your uh, dot graphic symbol on your stage. Double click. Once you double click it, you see that you are on dot graphic symbols editing window here. Okay. Then this graphic symbol has the, its own timeline. So first the thing is, I'm going to highlight the one second mark, which is 24 frame, and then insert the keyframe by clicking this and then place your mouse cursor somewhere in between 1 and 24. Hold down the control key or right click and choose the create classic twin. Okay, now place your um, <clears throat> playhead on frame number 12 in the middle. Insert another keyframe. Okay, then select your symbol and your dot here and in uh, on the right menu bar and the toolbar here open transform if you do not see this it is on the Windows menu and where are you transform here command T now I'm going to make it uh, make sure uh, your constraint uh, chain is linked I'm going to make it 10% smaller it's pretty small very tiny. So uh, this will happen. Getting smaller and back to the original size, just like this. And we're using just one second, 24 frames. Now, go to libraries panel, create a new symbol. You can click on this little plus button or insert new symbol. Either one's fine. Now, I'm going to name it as a <clears throat> excuse me dot underscore group type is going to be movie clip symbol this time <clears throat> excuse me movie clip symbol okay uh, with my hand tool I'm going to move this a center bar this little crossbar to the top left corner and then uh, choose your selection tool again now from the library, make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, we are working on this dot group, movie clip symbols editing window, not in the um, uh, main scene. 
Okay, so a dot group here. Okay, now place your graphic symbol, this little dot thing we created here. Let's drag and drop and place it on the zero point. Now I'm going to make multiple copies by holding down the option, click, shift, drag it right next to it. One more time, one more time. So I have four of them. Now select all of them, option, click, shift, and drag it down. Option, click, shift. Option, click, shift. Okay, so we have 16, four by four. Now next thing is, as you remember that, this, let me double click uh, my dot, this one. Uh, this graphic symbol has the, its own timeline and, and then uh, it is kind of animating. So what I'm going to do is, in my movie clip symbol, here, I'm going to assign a different kind of a starting point. So, this first uh, little dot, select it, open your properties panel. I'm going to start from the frame number one. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, select this and hold down the shift key and click. So I'm selecting these two diagonally. I want to start from frame number three. Now select one, hold down the shift key, two, three. I'm going to start from frame number five. One, hold down the shift key, two, three, four, and frame number seven. Nine. Eleven. And this one, I'm going to start from the twelve. Okay. So this is a movie clip symbol, but nothing is happening for now because, uh, as you remember that, in my um, um, the basic module, the dot graphic symbol, I was using one second duration, which is 24 frames. So in my dot group movie clip symbol, I need to assign the same numbers of frames, same time duration, which is frame number 24, one second mark. Then highlight that. Hold down the control key or right click and insert just a frame. And this will happen. Isn't it cool? Okay, now back to main scene. Scene number one. And let me delete this. And then as you know, this dot underscore group, this is a movie clip symbol, contains everything. So let me drag and drop. And then uh, I'm only using the one frame in my main scene. Let me test the movie. Under control, test the movie in browser. See? Because the movie clip symbol has the, its own timeline, it will animate it anyway. So I will make a link uh, in my description to um, a difference between the graphic symbol and movie clip symbols as well. That will help to understand. Okay, so that's the first thing. And good thing about this movie clip symbol is once you have it, then you can play with uh, play around with it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is under select your uh, this movie clip symbol, go to properties panel, and then you will see that color effect. Let me choose tint. You can choose any color you like from here blue for example you can change it there your tint value okay I was using orange and let me test the movie so now I have a different color even I can by choosing this there are free transform tool I can rotate it 45 degree. Test the movie. 
we can do that. Okay. Yeah, you can play around. Maybe you can uh, change the uh, kind of proportion as well. Once you test it, it does this. Okay. Let's do some more. Let me undo it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rotate it, make it a little bit small. So I have one here. And let me hold down the option and drag it. One here, option, drag it. Somewhere here. And let me have another one. Okay, and I'm going to center everything here. And let me test the movie again. See? And then also, each one can have different tint value. So maybe this for the first one, I'm going to use uh, yellow. U, red. And U, blue. And this one, maybe green. Okay, and let me test the movie. See? Isn't it cool? So it's a kind of a self-animating kind of a tile module. Uh, you can repeat it, you can multiple, you can change the color once you have like this. Only one uh, movie clip symbol. So um, my timeline is pretty simple. They, I'm only using one frame. My library, I don't have that many things. Let me show you one more thing before I close this. Um, <clears throat> in, there are two twins because the, I uh, did some kind of a motion twin things create a more classic twin. So let me open this twin number one. So this is a really, really basic module. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw square. And then the size is going to be the same size as this circle, 70 pixel by 70 pixel. And let me get rid of this dot. I'm going to place it in the center. Okay, now go back to library. Let me copy this. Edit, copy, and twin number two is a still circle. Let me double click and I'm going to get rid of it, delete, and edit, paste in place. So I have the same thing. And now see what happens. Let me go back to my main scene. See? Everything's changed. It. Test the movie. Isn't it nice? So, um, it depends on the how and the what kind of a module you have, the basic shape you have. So we have a dot here, but um, as I change it, it changes to something different. If you have a hexagon, octagon, or any type of polygon shape, uh, or even letter. It works as a letter too. Why don't I do just one more thing? Twin. I'm going to change it to the letter form. This time, uh, why don't I type letter T? Oh, okay. That's good. Place it here. Let me copy this. Twin number two. Delete and edit, paste in place. So I have the letter T on the same spot. Go back to main scene. Ta-da! Test the movie. T's are animating. So uh, it is kind of endless. You can insert anything, any shape, any letter, any form. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and then I will see you next time. Bye-bye.